the mission of Laboratory for Chemical Synthetic Biology and Xenobiology is to change chemical composition of the living cell. The method we are pursuing is expansion of the genetic code. For these, we are working in a specific compound of the translation machinery. We call it aminoacyl tRNA synthetase system or orthogonal translation system. So in this way, you can modify protein as much as you want and then changing the protein and making a new to nature protein, which has lots of application in tropotics and also material science and so on. Use a novel technology, we called it CRISPR associated transposition to genomically integrated one of these orthogonal translation system in the Escherichia coli bacteria. And in this way, cell can produce modified protein using non-natural amino acid during the synthesis of protein. So basically, nature used 20 basic building blocks to make proteins. And our mission is to expand this number, not to 21, 22, but in 200, 300, 400. So our laboratory in the last 20 years succeed to make more than 100 or 200 different new building blocks into the proteins using machineries of intact living cells. On one side, we will answer some fundamental questions regarding the origin of life, regarding the origin of genetic code. You know this famous sentence, nature will find a way. You are not going to put in environment stuff that you are not sure. We have mainly laboratory parameters. Click chemistry enables us to specifically label one protein in the living cell without disturbing living cell. And our group was one of the first in the world that uh, simply equipped our bacteria and our proteins with these clickable building blocks or clickable amino acids, and we can do click chemistry on the proteins on the cells. These clickable building blocks allow us that we can make a click chemistry that we can, that means we can attach something very specifically on this structure. In our setup, we can read this as a synthetic building blocks, which in this way, we are actually reading genetic code differently than nature do. In our laboratory, we can have alternative reading, and this is actually core of our methodology. So if we now can change genetic code in the way that our genetic code and our cells are operating on different compounds than those that are coming in the nature, but are known as from our synthetic laboratories, these cells can only live in our laboratory but cannot live outside of laboratory. So we biocontain them, we build a genetic firewall. So that means if you are now going to make fermentation process, which you would like to produce one uh, high value drug, high value compound, we can make fermentation procedure without fear that escape could be deadly. If we are able really to manipulate with our proteins, maybe cosmetic industry will make a cream, you put it in your hair and then you are 80, but your skin looks like you are 20. And you cannot deny this, people like to have this, you know. But it, it's the same technology if, if you want also to make one pathogenic bacteria. Good science could be explained in good times. And every scientific work is like a coin. There is no pure intellectual work and pure application science. You need to communicate your science. You need to do responsible science. Does mean that you have also this scientific communication, that you have human practices and all this, that you see that the science is not one single activity here on the bench with a pipe, but it is actually part of one dynamic network of whole, whole society.